Hello internet, it is I, the Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 115. Uh, as usual, the cancelled series continues to be so damn boring. <laughs> There's no interesting news, there hasn't been any interesting news since what happened to all those DC movies. It has been so bland. It's painful, honestly. But finally, some news, just enough news uh, popped up to where I was like, should I make a canceled episode about this? Should I? Should I? Screw it, I will. And here we are. So there's two movies we're going to be talking about. Uh, the first you see on the screen is The Man From Tomorrow. This is a movie I've talked about several times in the past. Well, after this video, I won't have to talk about it ever again. <laughs> Because guess what? Netflix bought the movie. <laughs> so the thing is, this movie was supposed to come out in August of this year, right? That was the plan for a while. I believe last time I talked about it was in October. So for the past six months, I assumed it would stay there. It <laughs> That's changed now, obviously. And now it's gone to a Netflix, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't have much to say about the movie, really. I mean, it feels like a pretty average action comedy, you know, but pretty by the numbers, you know, with, you know, Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson, even though Jason Statham was supposed to be in this movie, but he left due to, like, I guess, creative problems and stuff like the rating of the movie, and he was just like, I'm out. <laughs> so it was replaced with Woody Harrelson. So, yeah, I mean, I guess one could ask what caused this decision. Not sure. I don't know what triggered it. My guess is that with you know with what happened with Ambulance last week. Now, Ambulance and Man from Tomorrow from Toronto are different. Ambulance was more serious. This is more comedy, but they're both mid-tier action movies. More or less. They're both in the action genre. So that much is, you know, that they're the same in that regard. But I guess Sony, they saw the box office for Ambulance, panicked, and said, you know, this man from Toronto movie, is it worth spending millions of dollars to put it, you know, into theaters only for it to underwhelm? Is it worth it? And I guess they were like, no, it's not. Hey, Netflix, you know, you want this movie? And they just toss the movie right to them. They're just like, here you go. We don't want this anymore. <laughs> now, obviously, this is not the first time this has happened. I mean, Sony's been selling movies to Amazon and Netflix over the past year. I mean, from Netflix, they sold off Mitchell's versus the Machines. They sold off Fatherhood, which was also a Kevin Hart flick. Uh, there's another one, Vivo. Those are like some of the ones. For Amazon, they sold off Hotel Transylvania 4 and the Cinderella movie from last year. The one with James Corden. Ill. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that movie. But, yeah, Sony, since they don't have a streaming service of their own, like, say... Like Disney has Disney Plus, Paramount has Paramount Plus, Warner Brothers has HBO Max, Universal has Peacock. Sony doesn't have anything, so they can just sell these movies off. And plus, the same time last year, Sony and Netflix made a deal. I talked about that. I think it was episode 55. I believe it was that. Where they made a deal where they were just like, okay, any movie that we don't deem to be you know you know worth spending money on just we'll give it to you netflix and that's what they've been doing so yeah but yeah that's all i really want to say about this i mean at least i never have to talk about it ever again so that's a plus i guess so the second thing that happened was a lot more under the radar than i thought and it's about this, well, it was originally called Blazing Samurai, but now it has a new title, Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. 
I mean, kind of a, a somewhat long-winded title. I'm not sure why they called it that. I mean, I can understand, like, with Blazing Samurai, obviously it says here, it's meant to be a loose riff on Blazing Saddles. But the thing is, no child <laughs> who was going to watch this movie will even understand the reference at all. And you can't expect them to. I mean, Blazing Saddles was a movie from the 70s. And it's an R-rated movie from the 70s. A comedy classic. And... Yeah, it, and the whole plot of that movie was about, like, a black sheriff in, like, an all-white town. He has to deal with direct racism. Where... He gets hit with the N-word, the hard E-R, many times. And I can say this because I have seen the movie. And while I think it's great, not only would A, it would never be made today, but two, it should never be seen by children, <laughs> ever. So making a kid-friendly version of that is really weird. <laughs> so this title change does make sense, in a way. Even though it seems a little overly complicated for a movie like this. But it's kind of like that Legends of the Guardians, Owls of Gahul. That type of title is not my thing. Anywho. So with this movie, obviously, you know, I've talked about this before. It was just like in development hell for years. Like, I thought it would never come out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone thought it would never come out. Like, Supposed to come out like 2017 and then just got pushed back forever until this year when Paramount were like, hey, this looks interesting. Let, let's let do this. Let's release this thing for some godforsaken reason. <laughs> They're like, that's what they did and now we're here. But the thing is, I mean, you can read it right here. <laughs> uh, You know, because it felt like a cursed movie. But now it's coming out July 15th, which is strange because I thought it was going to come out July 22nd. That's the date I first got for this movie before the title change. And, there will, and now it's coming out a week earlier, which when you think about it, it makes sense. Because if it came out the 22nd, it would have, to deal with, it would have dealt with uh, DC League of Super Pets like one week later. And that would have been very bad. <laughs> so now... As two weeks between Minions 2 and Super Pets. So it has some time to breathe. Some time to make some cash. <laughs> Not all the cash, but some cash. So at least this makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, it's just... I don't I mean, I didn't know about this until I saw the trailer for this movie in front of Sonic 2. But the thing is, I didn't actually watch the trailer. My eyes were glued to my phone <laughs> while that trailer was playing. I know some, some of you would be like, Malik, how can you be on your phone during the movies? That's terrible. First of all, this is during the trailers. No one really cares about the trailers when you can easily just watch them all online. So who cares? <laughs> and second, the trailer... I didn't watch the trailer, but I could hear the trailer, and it sounded like absolute cringe. <laughs> like, any trailer that has, like, a long, long fart joke, it's just like, okay, this movie is gonna be awful. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be utter trash. So, yeah, but it could still do well. I mean, I don't know. Apparently, it now has the Nickelodeon movies branding. I know that now from the research I did like earlier in the day. So, yeah. So, pause the fury. I mean, yay for anyone, like all four of you who are interested in this movie. Uh, you get to watch it one week earlier. So, hooray for you. For me, I will never watch this movie in my life. So, yeah. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Now we it's time to play that favorite game. What will happen next? Man, it's becoming harder and harder to predict at this rate. I mean, April is set. It's more than set. We're like halfway through it. May looks set. 
June looks set, although this Black Phone movie doesn't have any new trailer yet. I mean, I know it already has a trailer, but that was back when it was supposed to come out, like, in February. You, you would expect a new trailer soon. Maybe we will get it, I don't know, but I don't see it going anywhere. But for the most part, you have June looks safe, July looks safe now, even though Thor and Love and Thunder doesn't have a trailer yet. So I don't know what's going on there. August looks so damn depressing. <laughs> we can officially scratch off Man from Toronto. Scratch that off completely. So I don't know about August. I guess it's safe. September? Sure, I guess. <laughs> October, sure, I guess. November, sure, I guess. And December, sure, I guess. That's literally the only thing I can say at this point is sure, I guess. I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, but I guess we'll, I guess, we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's all I can say. We'll see what happens with any of these future 2022 movies because something statistically something does happen especially when you least expect it <laughs> so you know i'll keep my eyes peeled for you know anything that happens in the near future but for right now i think things are solid so yeah anywho yeah that's it that's all make sure to subscribe like this video leave a comment turn turn notifications share the whole drill I want to check out more videos like this? I got playlists on the homepage, full of all previous, you know, movies that didn't that were supposed to come out at a certain time but didn't. Uh, we're now at 115 episodes. These two movies I just talked about, I talked about in the past. One of which I talked about this year. I forgot which episode it was. I think it was 103 4. It was after my turning red video. It was after that. I know that. I think it was 102. Maybe. It was in the new year. <laughs> All right. You should be able to. It was a picture of that with Tom Cruise. So if you can find that, that's the video. <laughs> that's from Man from Toronto. I talked about it twice before. I talked about it once with Venom 2. The other one, the other time was like with Dune Part 2. And now, uh, so if you want to find those, go right ahead. Watch you know, watch the whole series, all two years worth of content. Watch it all in chronological order. It'll be great. <laughs> you can just see how things have evolved and changed. So I highly suggest you do that. There's also box office predictions where I predict box office for movies. I already did Father Stew and Fantastic Beast 3 this weekend. So if you want to watch those, go right ahead. If you want to watch any of the past prediction videos I made on the channel for this year, you can just go on the homepage and you'll find them right there. Any of the others, just go to the playlist tab. Uh, there's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. April recap will come out right before Doctor Strange 2. So stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past um, recap videos I made on the channel, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.